Hello and welcome to another day at the coast. This is a very special day for me. I've been out guiding for like seven days in a row. So this is my first day off. And it's been a fantastic time lately. Uh, lots of fish caught on the guidings. Uh, so I decided to try to make the most out of it. My day off here now. So this is me standing out freezing at six o'clock in the morning at the coast to start the day. It is... I just, I've stayed out in a tent here at, at the shoreline. I just want to crawl back into my sleeping bag and uh, stay there until 11 o'clock when it's getting warm. But uh, I was out fishing a little bit in the last light of the night and I yep. lost a nice fish. So I would like to give this a go. See if there's some fish in the shallow waters. I fish a flash tail bait fish in purple and predator dubbing bait fish in copper. I'm gonna go out, swing them here as well and see if there's any fish around. Let's do it. Sounds like the reel is frozen. I'm not sure if it is. Cold it is for sure. But I think it is a couple of plus degrees. It's been very windy during the whole night. About seven, eight meters per second, and it will pick up to about 11 meters per second during the day. So, not so pleasant. <laughs> but I can't really choose when my fishing times are, and I think it is great conditions. Just look at this cool weather mixed sky with, with clouds and blue sky, all sorts of weather around me. I think it's a... I can imagine if there is gonna be a 70 plus or 80 plus sea trout in length, centimeters I mean, uh, in shallow water, reachable with fly, could be now. struggling a little bit with the casting, the wind is blowing the line out of the line basket and get stuck quite some. I have to do roly poly just to keep my arms going, it's so cold. So this way, that's this is how I fish in winter quite often, maybe slower retreat though, but just moving, opening and closing my hands when they're about to when I'm about to lose my feel in my fingers. And it's a great method. I'm actually walking pretty much when casting, retrieving. And yeah, the whole thing, I'm just taking small, short control steps here, moving to the right here with the wind. The water is just so clear here, so I'll try a, a, a second predator dubbing bait fish as well. So I have something more discreet. The flash tail bait fish I think was a bit too much here. That's a big fish, that's a big fish, that's a big fish, oh it took so close, that was intense, oh, 
going up 6 o'clock in the morning oh man it's worth it that stood shallow this is a big silver sea trout oh it took so gentle too oh I'm shaking so much right now this is I think on the dropper fly the copper colored predator dubbing great fish yes it is oh my fingers are so cold come on come to the reel now come to the reel now yes that feels so much better have it more under control so I fished just a long long area until I came here and eventually slowed down a little bit because I started believing in the area and BAM you have no idea how nice fish this is this looks incredible silver fish between 65 and 70 I think Ooh, I thought something happened there I think the end fly was just caught in the bottom for a little while done yet oh, it's going so much around the stones here and I have the end fly there moving so quick put back my net again it is not ready this could be 70 so this fight has been going on now for four minutes Had it close to me for the last two maybe now it's going out again pure pure silver close oh, the net has tangled on me what? there in the net so an insane take very close to me <laughs> a super nervous uh, fight and I don't think you will believe what I have in my net <laughs> this is such a crazy fish I oh, can't I didn't think that was gonna be 
I mean, I could still be in my sleeping bag right now. Laying there, had no idea about this. <laughs> that these lunkers would be tempted to take it. Predator dubbing bait fish. Oh, I'm so happy that it took on that fly. It's been a trusted friend for many years now. Oh, I'll, I think I'll never stop using that material. It is fantastic. And so taken by this moment, it's unbelievable. You ready to see this Cromer? Are you ready? No? Here it is. <laughs> It didn't break off, but I will cut it off now because I have to remake this leader and it's gonna make a hell of a mess. Yes! 